Raju. Be good. Goodbye, children. See you next week. Bye. There's Babul. Aren't you coming to school, Babul? No, my mother is sick. I must stay at home today. I'm sorry. We will come and see you after school. <coughs> oh, Raju, I'm worried about Babul and his mother. Look. There's the health worker. Let's ask her. Hello, Meena and Raju. Hello. Yes. Hello, Mittu. Sister, you know Babul. His mother is sick again. Last year, his father got sick and died. Is she going to die too? Who will look after Babul and his sister? Well, children, I hope Babul's mother can live long enough to see her children grow up. And I'm glad you are thinking about Babul. He needs good friends to help him now. <laughs> Granny, can we go to see Babul? His mother is sick again. <gasps> No no don't go there why not granny i heard today that babul's father died of a terrible disease called hiv aids babul's mother has it too i am afraid that you might catch it if you go to their house our teacher told us about hiv aids she says You cannot catch it by being someone's friend. Being friends by touching them <laughs> or playing with them. Playing with them. <laughs> I'm sorry children, but I don't want you to go. I'm still very afraid. <laughs> oh, Babul! Oh, Babul! Oh dear. Oh dear. <coughs> oh Mitu, I feel so bad about Babul. Oh, Babul. Is he okay? Oh, look, the health worker is coming. We should go. How are you doing today? I'm a little better. That's good. Babul, now go and play with your friends. What friends? I am trying to keep healthy, but I'm so worried about who will look after the children if I am not here. I'm sure your family will help. I was an orphan, you know. My relatives helped me to finish school. Yes. I want my children to stay in school, but my own parents are dead, and my husband's relatives are scared of this disease. They won't visit us. Please don't upset yourself. I'll see how I can help you. People in this village must learn that there is no risk in visiting people living with HIV. For now, you must look after your health. What fruits and vegetables are you eating? Uh, there's nobody to look after the garden. Ah, oh, Mitu, we can help. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, Mitu. This is for Bubbles family. Bubbles family.
Granny, I was thinking. Yes, dear. I remember how Bubbles' mother came to see you every day when you were sick last year. Yes, neighbors should help each other. But I am still scared about this disease. I want to talk to the health worker to find out more. Find out more. we can do Be careful near the river children it's very high after the rains Oh sister please come and talk a while of course You see sister We would like to help Bubbles' family, but I am scared that we could catch HIV/AIDS too. I am glad you have asked. It's important for adults and children to understand clearly about HIV/AIDS. Hmm, important. Look at this. The virus which causes AIDS is called HIV. It cannot be spread by touching and shaking hands, by sharing plates and cups. by sharing clothes by hugging by sneezing and coughing by sharing toilets or by bites from mosquitoes and other insects that's good to hear but how is it spread mina go go inside please let her stay it's so important that young people learn about hiv aids too Shall I stay granny? Well, if sister says so. There are only a few ways in which HIV can be spread. The most common way is when a person has sex with someone who is already infected. It can also spread through unsterilized needles, syringes, razors and other sharp instruments which cut or inject the skin. It can spread through blood transfusions taken from an infected person. And lastly, from a mother infected with hiv to her baby before or during birth or through breast milk but it's safe to be friends ah be friends and it's safe to visit and help yes that's right people living with hiv aids need love and support from family and friends to live well is it all right then to visit papal's family yes my dear we'll all go Where's Raju? 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 Please find him, Mitu. Raju? Raju! Ah, Raju! No, Raju, no!
Oh, Babul. You good boy. <laughs> thank you, Mitho. And thank you, Babul. Come, Babul. Let's go to your house. I want to tell your mother what a brave boy she has. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Since that day, my family often visits Babel's house. Granny and Mama talk with Babel's Mama. We all help. Granny has also encouraged other neighbors to come and help. Babel's Mama feels so much happier and stronger now. The health worker says people can live well with HIV for many years. Babel's Mama is even teaching me to sing and play. In the evenings, Babel's mama tells her children stories about their family. Babel likes to write these down so that he and his sister will always remember them. Sometimes I help Babel. I think Babel's mama still worries about what will happen to her children. Granny says she will speak to the relatives and Granny says she mustn't worry. We will always look after Babel and his sister. Babel seems much happier now too. Babel and his sister come to school with us every day. Sometimes the ducks come too. Like that. 